Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Fire Eater's Grill here in Universal Islands of Adventure. Be sure to stick until the end for more insight on Villain Con and Universal Studios as well as some Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. Fire Eater's Grill is a quick service dining type restaurant that offers everyday lunch and dinner at any time with many healthy options and dietary accommodations. Items include entrees. Traditional gyro, falafel gyro, crispy chicken gyro, chicken fingers, or chicken stingers. You can also get a chili cheese dog, as well as crispy green salad, french fries, and chili cheese fries. As for treats, they offer pita with tzatziki, Greek honey puffs, and edible chocolate chip cookie dough. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are here at the Fire Eaters Grill, here in Universal Islands of Adventure. It is in the Lost Continent section, and right now Pop is actually ordering the food, so I will have that very soon. As for sit-down options for the Fire Eaters Grill, there's an area over here, right next to it, as well as one across the street if you want more shade. Dun, da, da, da. All right, so I got the traditional gyro with the pita and tzatziki. What'd you get? I got the falafel gyro. Don't remember what I these are. I forget what those are too. Are they what? Garlic, garlic no, honey No, they're honey, they're honey something or other. Honey something. We shall see. Yeah, we'll find out. We looked at the menu, they're called Greek honey puffs. We're gonna have to see what those are soon, very soon. All right, so first I'm gonna try to be a little healthy and try the celery dipped in this hummus. I think it's coated in maybe like a chili powder, maybe paprika. I can't really tell, but... Mm. Wow. I gotta do another one. That is really good. So is this hummus. Wow. All right, so next up is the actual gyro itself. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna try it first without any hummus because we need a base test first. We wanna make sure it's not just the hummus that's making it taste good. Mm. My phone's falling. <laughs> Wow. That is really good. Really good. Now a bit in the hummus. Cheers. Oh man. How's the celery? Very celery. The hummus is I fantastic. really like it. Oh, the hummus is so good. But yeah, that was really good. I already tried a bit of my um, traditional. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Now I'm going to try one of the pita chips because it came with tzatziki. I'm kind of curious what that's like. Wow. It looks amazing. That's better than the falafel, not the falafel, the gyro. Wow. I'm gonna try some of the, uh, feed it in the hummus too. I'm gonna try. Uh -huh. Wow. Phenomenal. Wow. I give it like a nine. Maybe even a ten. I gotta finish this chip. This is fantastic. Yeah, I'd have to say the same. It's a nine bordering out of ten. Uh-huh, yeah. I could come here and order a couple of these. Oh yeah, that. me too. Be satisfied. Me too. This right here. And they're like they're crispy but they're they still have like a softness to it. So it's very it's enjoyable, it's not too crunchy. It's almost like a fried fried bread. Yeah, very good. 
to try your falafel. It's not falafel. I keep saying falafel. <laughs> it is falafel. It is falafel. But, yeah, let's get a, a view of that real quick. Man. That looks so good. Now, I had heard that the correct way to eat these things, when you see them, when they serve them, was to actually have them mashed up inside there. Oh. Okay. All right. Mashed as I can mash. Let's get a taste test. How is it? It's good. Is it dry? However, it's a little dry. Yeah, that's how I, my, that's how my um, gyro was too. But once I dipped it in the hummus, it, it really brought it out. It's definitely something you need to dip. Yeah, I'm thinking if I... Oh, you could probably... If Ooh. I take mine... And my little Suzuki. Ooh, smart. That looks so good. Um, dun, da, da, da. Is that much better? Yeah. Awesome. What would you rate it? I'd give it a solid... You have to understand too, this is my first time really ever having falafel. Okay, so yeah, that's fine though. I would still say an eight. Okay. I'm gonna try one of these garlic, uh, or what are they called? The, the honey, the Greek honey bites? Honey, honey puffs. Honey puffs. That's what they look like right there. They look pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try it plain first because yeah, because they're dessert, I think. Yeah, I, but they come with tzatziki, I believe. So I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try it anyways. Give it a shot. Mm. Yeah. It's like it's like a dough ball. There's nothing in it. But it's so sweet. Wow. The crispy texture with the soft inside. Mm. I'm gonna try it in the tzatziki. Just to see. Mm-hmm. Wow. You, you enjoying try, that? You want to try this end? No, I'm good. Sure. Actually, yeah. Sure, why not? That looks like stripping out the air. Oh. It smells amazing too. Wow. I don't want it to spill out on me. Wow. It is very dry. But I can look past it. See how good it tastes. Hold on the outside. I think I squished them in. The yeah. problem with eating outside, you get bugs. Lots of them. Lastly, I'm gonna dip a carrot. Oh, I got someone on my finger. Huh. It's hummus. You can't go wrong with hummus. No, no. I can never go wrong with hummus. This is really good. So are those, uh, I keep forgetting what they're called, but the honey bites. Greek honey bites. They're so good. Amazing. These, definitely better than the honey bites. Solid, solid overall. Uh, honey puffs. Honey puffs, yes. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna get that wrong so many more times, but yeah. yeah. I'm having another one of these. They're so good. Oh, whoa, look at the honey dripping on that. Wow. Cheers. Better the second time. Wow. 
final opinion on the falafel? Well, it was good. But in all honesty, I mean, again, I think maybe I've had a bite of a falafel once in my lifetime. Once in my 60 years on this planet. So, maybe it's just that I, I figured I'd give it a shot now. Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm not super fond of it. I'm not sure. This was good, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff I've had that, that I, I would pick this over any day, but I really think, in all honesty, I might try more of a, uh, you know, one of the other types of gyros as opposed to the falafel the next time. Oh yeah, time I, I, I got the traditional and I think it's like really good. I already found it slightly dry to begin with and then the falafel, of course, it's very crumbly. So yeah. it's gonna even make it more dry. Yeah. Now adding the tzatziki and adding some of the hummus on there really perked it up. But I mean, 100%, it, 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 it would definitely be something that I would think hard about getting a second time. Yeah, no hate to falafel enjoyers though. Yeah. If you no, like no, falafel, it, I mean... it, it was very good. Mm -hmm. But just not something that I would, you know, I, I, might, I would definitely try one of the other ones next yeah. time. Yeah. But one of these. Now, he hasn't actually tried one of the... Honey puffs. Honey puffs. I almost did the wrong thing again. All right, here we go. A lot of honey. Wow. Does pop approve? Yes, pop appro approves the puff. <laughs> pop approves the puff. There you have it. Yep. There's such a good, like, ending to your meal kind of thing. Very light. Yeah, very light. If you've already been stuffed with everything else in front of you, you very can very light. easily... You bite into it. It's so airy. So airy. Oh, yeah. And the honey's not super thick. It's almost like it's thinned out, which is very And nice. it's not too sweet either. It's yeah. relaxing, I guess. I guess that's the right word. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah very much so. You don't feel like you need to drink something if you have it because it's so sweet. It's not. It's very Yeah. I enjoyable. like... I would come here again. Yeah. I would for sure come here again. Fire that's Eaters good. Grill, you get like a 8.5. From me. Yeah. Overall, yeah. I would o say overall, eight point five. I gotta say, I could live off the celery and the hummus. It's funny because Pop got me a fork. What does he think I am? Civilized? No. Mm -hmm. Last bite. I gotta make this one count. I'm gonna like douse it in tzatziki. I actually had to like speed this up because it's taking me forever to swallow this. I will say, if you let the pita bread cool or chill for a bit after you buy it, it hardens a bit more. Yeah. And I think it's better. Yeah, I agree. It's better this way. I agree. Look at that crunch. <laughs> I still have a honey puff. I need to eat that. After I finish this pita bread. Oh wow. We have an amazing view of the Velocicoaster. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Look at that. One eternity later. There it is. That took an eternity, but now I get to have the final honey puff. Honey puff. I'm never gonna learn that name. I hate you, mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very airy, crispy outside. And I have a generous amount of honey left that I could dunk it in, which is great. Oh, God. Look at that. It's not gonna focus, but oh, it's okay. Cheers. We are all done. You destroyed it. We sure did. We killed it. I absolutely destroyed it. My goodness. And I'm so full, I feel like I'm gonna blow up. Uh, yeah, I usually blow it upside down, and it's all coming out. Originally, we were gonna do a second 
um, place we're gonna eat at today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen now. <laughs> yeah, because, wow. If you need a filling meal, definitely come here because wow. Especially for the deal we got, we got we both got um, the combos, and that comes with either hummus or fries, as well as a treat, which was my pita with tzatziki. He got the, what are they called? Honey puffs. Honey puffs. And there's also the option to get chili cheese fries or edible cookie dough. So that might be something for another time. If you like have a sweet tooth, definitely, definitely go with the cookie dough or the honey bites or honey puffs. They're really good. But yeah. Oh. Here in Universal Studios, we have Villain Con which is surprisingly only a 35 minute wait. So we're gonna see if we can get on it. See what's up, maybe, maybe it's good. The line itself is actually moving uh, quicker than I thought it would, even though it's a 35 minute wait. I mean, it seems like it's just nonstop walking. So it looks like they have made extra lines anticipating a crowd for when they officially open this. So. Don't expect short wait times, that's for sure. All right, scanning in progress. And a bit close. No more filming, so I will be back later. Fill you in. No ride is complete until we end up in the gift shop. Some really neat merchandise here too. We got all of the villain con merch. Wow. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> we got villain con. Is that a plate or something? That's too cool. All this stuff. You can get a villain signature, customize your own villain badge. There's a Scarlet Overkill Stewart. Kevin is dressed as Vector. And then I forget his name. I never saw the third movie, so that's unfortunate. I will be honest, the concept is a lot different from a lot of other rides here at Universal. It's there is no sit sitting down. It's you grab a blaster and you're on like a conveyor. And I don't know how much I can say without um, getting in trouble, but um, it's very different, very different. You're on a conveyor and you're shooting at screens. The blasters are relatively heavy. I mean, I had to carry some stuff, so it was a bit difficult, but it was, it's a neat, it's a neat idea. Topic, but we have the Stranger Things 4 Universal Halloween Horror Nights merch review. They look really neat. We have the hats. Going for a lovely $30. Not too bad, not too bad. Then we have this amazing looking shirt. Wow. I love how the eye glistens slightly. Very cool, very cool. As we all know, there is still the Last of Us merch for Halloween Horror Nights, but it's good that they also have this. There's also the See You in the Fog mugs, as well as magnets and hats. Very cool. There you go. Another side note is that the frequent fear passes are now on sale, so if you want those, or anybody you know wants those, be sure to let them know because it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. If you are a Halloween Horror Nights enjoyer, I highly recommend getting the Frequent Fear Fest because it's such a great experience and you can go so many times. So, check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our video today. If you enjoyed, please be sure to go down below, hit the like button, subscribe, comment a place you'd like to see us try next time because we are very indecisive when it comes to eating at Universal. Thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Stay safe and God bless.